Welcome. I am Dr. Nitin Paranjpe. In the next three minutes, I am going to show you how to enhance the efficiency as well as security of teamwork across your organization. The first step is to find out three numbers from your IT team. These are security score, compliance score and productivity score. As we go along, we will see how to improve all these three numbers. Teamwork involves working with people, files, chat, email, data and more. Generally, when we want official communication, what do we say? Put it on email. Why do we say that? Because email is archived for three to seven years depending on the regulations in each country. The problem with email is that it is slow. So if you need fast response, generally we use chat. Now, if you put official information and data and files on personal chat applications, that is also risky. There is no archive and it's a compliance issue. And that is where Microsoft Team Chat comes into picture. Exactly like email, you can configure Teams Chat to be archived for the same number of years. So in case there is a dispute or litigation, this data will help you. As you know, data is an asset, but if it is misused or it leaks, it can be a liability. Generally, 4% of your global turnover can be the fine associated with any data breach. And of course, there are other disadvantages as well. The solution is to protect the data. But how exactly do we protect it? Well, there are two ways. One is you allow it to be used within the organization, but it should not leak outside. The second is to insert security inside the data in such a way that data can protect itself. For both these methods to work, first you have to identify where is the sensitive or confidential data. And that is done by using sensitive data types to classify it. 260 types are available out of the box and you can customize and create your own data types. Once sensitive data is identifiable, then you can say, you can use it for email, chat, files, but these cannot go outside the organization. That's called data loss prevention or DLP. The other method is to make the sensitive data encrypted so that nobody can read it except the people who are authorized to do it. For example, only board of directors or only the R&D department and the manufacturing team and so on. The benefit of this approach is even if the file is copied on a USB and given to your competitor, they can't open it. We are also worried about people working from home because they may be using personal devices and the networks may not be very secure. The solution is not just to block their access to files because if you do that, how will they work? How do you strike the balance between security and productivity? It's quite simple. Whenever you log into Microsoft, it gives you a risk score. Depending on the score, you can decide what to do. So if the score is low, allow people to work on files. If the risk is moderate, then allow people to work on files only on browser. They can't download it locally. And if it is very high, just block access and force the user to change the password. So depending on the condition, you decide the action. Security plus productivity. Now coming to the scores, ask your IT and compliance team to look at the improvement actions, prioritize those actions and improve your security, compliance as well as efficiency. If you want to know more information, you can look at these links. That's it from me. Thank you.